Hey, it's me, Bobby Daddy Dre, and this is my review of Shantae Half Jenny Hill. Originally, you could say it was going to be the final Wii U game, but since that version of the game has been moved to the Switch, I decided that Shantae would be the very last Wii U game that I review on the console before I sell it. This game was also funded by Kickstarter, so it's this Kickstarter game in Instant Crescent like Undertale or a big disappointment like Mighty Number no. 9. Let's find out. Shantae is a 2D platformer with exploration and iron collecting similar to the past Shantae games. It's similar to Castlevania and Metroid but easier to a casual audience to pick up. Shantae's main gimmick is transformation. These transformations help Shantae explore new areas that she couldn't do before in her normal form like climbing walls, swimming underwater and flying. Some of the theories are similar to each other but each of them has one unique ability that is useful and exclusive to them. You can also get weapons, upgrades and items at the shop. The upgrades is always a mess for me, but the weapons are pretty optional but useful. I just use pike bars and invisibility in my playthrough, mainly because that is useful to me while the other items didn't really interest me that much. I hope that the various way forward could find a way to make the weapons more useful and make people collect them all. Like maybe add some of the weapons that is either super effective or resistant to some enemies or bosses. That way that the game won't be too easy. Now keep in mind this is a very minor nitpick and it does not ruin the whole game. The graphics are great. Definitely the best looking Shantae game so far. It reminds me of Paper Mario but with a bit of a show shader look, similar to Resident Evil Zelda Wind Raker. The story is pretty decent, it definitely has a good comedic moment so pretty much think of the story like a Saturday morning cartoon and I think you gotta really enjoy this game. But I can't figure out the timeline of the story. I I believe it's a soft reboot, but I can't really confirm that. I'm pretty sure one of the NPC in the game is even confused if this is like a reboot, a sequel, or whatever. Backtracking is very important in this game. It's usually to complete missions or get new abilities to progress through the levels and story. Exploring a level never felt like a chore or obligation to me because A there's always a type of reward to it and B every time I got like a new transformation I always go back to the previous level to explore because I enjoy that kind of stuff personally. There's also stats of all the items you collected in the level selections so you know if you got all the items in that particular stage or not. The one big negative I have about this game overall is balancing. Once you get all the weapons, upgrades, and health increases, the game becomes very easy midway through, almost to the point where it's very hard to die and get a game over. It's not a game killer by any means necessary, but it does make your victory at the end very cheap and unrewarding. Overall, Shantae Half Genie Hero is a good game. It may not be the best among the four Shantae games available, but it's a nice addition to the series. I think most of the fans would be pleased with the final product, and although I didn't back the game myself, I did enjoy my time playing through the game. But I recommend for waiting for a small price cut before getting this game, or at the very least, wait for all the DLC to come out. But I do recommend getting this game at some point. This is me. Why was that a tree? And I catch you guys later.